Hi everyone. So last week I tried hybrid autopilot for the first time live on a video and uh, it didn't go too well. I completely failed it. I seemed to do everything right from what I can see but trying it out and getting it right to the end where the user logs in something went wrong. Um, thankfully there was a fantastic response from Facebook and from the YouTube community to help me out with what I did wrong and essentially it seems that uh, I didn't leave it long enough before logging in. So there there apparently needs to be a 30 minute-ish, maybe 30 minutes, it depends on the synchronization time of the of Azure AD Connect. So the, the device itself is joining AD, local AD, and then needs to be synchronized back up to Azure AD and Intune before the user can log in. So whilst Autopilot knows that some device exists, some some entity exists, it doesn't know it's a device, it doesn't know it's that device, so I can't just log in. Um, and so uh, I think either I can leave it for a little while before logging in, or I can uh, I can try again. Um, so the message in the in the uh, in the error message is, you can try to do this again, or you can contact your system administrator. So in this scenario, what I'm going to do is I've left it a week, which is admittedly a bit longer than I would normally leave something to try again. Um, I I haven't done anything other than reboot that machine and, it, and and then just try again. So this will be me trying again for the first time. So if it doesn't work, then we'll see that. Uh, if if I didn't want to have the user go through the pain of having to try again, then we could advise the user to, to leave it a little while before trying. Or perhaps we could run the that I mentioned in the comments section of this video. So if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that uh, Colm said, this is the message that, that they get when they receive this, uh, when, when, they, when they try and, 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 and run hybrid autopilot. Uh, and uh, this person here, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name, gives a f pretty good explanation of what's going on here and suggests that really uh, we can disable the user enrollment status page and that would help so I'm not going to be able to test that yet because I've just um, well I've waited too long for, to, to, for that to make any sense so I've waited over a week so it's not going to help if I and remove the the user part of the ESP now so I'll try with just um, with just trying again like it suggests in the message after more than half an hour of waiting uh, but as we can see in the comments, there are some fantastic ideas, especially on Facebook. Great discussion that took place following the post. So thank you for everyone who was helping there. That's really that's really insightful. Thank you very much. So let's just try this straight away then. Straight into our machine. And this is the machine, so it's Autopilot 002. I'm going to go in here. Hopefully I've remembered the password. This could be quite embarrassing. Has been a week. Okay, so it says welcome to Get Modern, which is good. And I think it was Lucy that was logging in. Okay, so on Lucy's second attempt, we get a message saying, please wait while we set up your device. And let's see how far this goes. Okay, so that looks like a sign-in screen. Um, and it asks me to sign into Corp. So let me just log in as Lucy Tester. We'll see what the screen says when we try and do that. Okay. So that looks like it's logging me in. So I'm going to leave it there. That really did seem to help. Um, so how can we do that better then? How can we not have the user have to wait 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, a week? In my case, I didn't need to wait a week, but I had other stuff to do. So it has been that long, but it should have worked first time, right? That's the idea. The user shouldn't have had that poor experience. So what we're going to do in the next video is try the original method again, but we're going to use some of the techniques that we figured out through the Facebook groups and through the YouTube comments to see if that can actually help us. We'll try 
disabling the user ESP. And we'll also try uh, a script to kick off a Delta Azure AD Connect sync. For now, thank you for coming back to watch this video. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I'd love to get you more content as soon as I can. See you next time.